Rome Neal as Monk in a Lawrence Holder play based on the life and times of jazz great Thelonious Monk. It's just wonderful. I was at the edge of my seat. With music score composed by Bill Lee. Stunning piece of work. Uh, and I hope to see it off Broadway. March 15th through May 8th. It's a must see. It's like must see TV. Available on DVD. Online www.monktheplay.com or call 718-288-8048. The you and the writing was just a good feeling. This one was great, and uh, all the plays are really wonderful, especially yours. And uh, I think you will agree with me, we're all having a good time now. What I really appreciate is the fact that at least everybody's getting an education as to what really was. Mm -hmm. And all the different types of music, and all the different types of personalities, and the people, and the choices they made. And um, it's just good to be able to be exposed to that kind of... Uh, Great time, man. Great time. And really enjoyed you. Oh, you know, thank you. And I uh, want, want you to continue with that. Oh, yeah. It's an honor to be here. I had to come out and support the hardest working black man in show business right now. <laughs> Only off Broadway show running right now. Only off Broadway play running right now. And this man did it. Um, I mean, I mean, just did probably 90% of the work himself right here. And of course, like with his team and stuff too. But like this man, I'm striving to be like him when I grow up. You know, I'm be a taskmaster of it all. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, baby. I'd like to say the wrong deal. That that was a beautiful play, and you really. Reminded me in spots of Monk a lot. And I really enjoyed myself and I wish a lot of people would go to see you. I just met the Armstrong and I'm a theater critic for the New York Amsterdam News and I saw Monk last night. I've seen it in the past and I think that uh, the job that Rome Neal did is just wonderful and Lawrence Holder also. Um, when I was there I felt like I was learning a lot about Thelonious Monk and um, just the, the way that I'm uh, one of Rome's actors from way back. I've known him for about, oh, 20, 25 years or so. Uh, we just got finished doing Julius Caesar in the North Carolina Black Theater Festival uh, this past summer. So um, I'm very proud of him. And I think he, I told him just now, the train is on the track. It's up to you to stay there and go all the way home because you're there. You're there. And I also told him one day, don't be surprised if Monk comes by to visit you. <laughs> just be prepared for that. I think he did an excellent job. I think Lauren told the role next in play. You know, biographies are kind of hard, you know, especially one man show biographies are kind of hard. You have to, um, you know, keep the people's attention and make it interesting and diverse and everything. And I think he's on his way. And like I said, one day I think Musk gonna come up on in here and everybody will be very surprised. I hadn't expected you to see. I didn't know what to expect. But, but, but I, what, I, what I took away from it was um, the, the, the delicacy of the human psyche and, uh, and the greatness of talent and, and, and the beauty and the grace in a, in a, in a, in a, in a black man. And, and the beauty of it was another dimension of beauty. Great journey into the genius of a great man mm -hmm. whose music is still alive. And I'm glad that he shared it so beautifully with us. Yes. It should be a great success because Monk's music is meant to last forever. And I'm glad that somebody recognizes that and gives us a chance to come and share it. Keep on doing the good work, my good brother. Bring something significant, we think, significant to you. 
which is life and times of storms. So. Well, all, be, all, both of the gentlemen have said something. I'm glad I'm a part of a great piece of work. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.